Hey guys, welcome back to Bambi TV. Guys, you want me to react to the top G? Like, I just did clash with Judge Janko. He had the debate. Let's get straight into this. A lot of people are obsessed with the idea of happiness. And especially as a man, I think that happiness can actually be a very destructive motivator. And when men sit and say, I want to be happy, I want to feel happy. To feel happy, a lot of the time, you're looking for temporary hedonism. To be happy, you want to get drunk or take drugs or do something stupid temporarily and it's very short-lived. I think you should instead be looking as a man to say, I want to feel proud. If you choose pride over happiness, you're going to make decisions that you're proud of and that people around you are proud of and it's going to be better, better for yourself and better for society and better for everyone who loves you, everyone you care about. I if think you that's the first thing you said that I disagree with. You disagree? Completely. I think the best thing a man can do is wake up and say, what can I do that's going to make me proud of myself and other people are proud of me? Let's get into our debate. Let's do it. Okay. I believe that pride will always be the downfall of you. In fact, it, God calls it an abomination. If you stand before God and you search for anything in your heart and you take pride in it, you're saying that you did it, not God. That is my argument against that. One. Two, happiness could be today. It's all perspective. Yeah. If you look at a tree, you could look at it and be like, oh, me and my dad used to pick apples from that tree. Or his father hung himself in that tree. Yeah. It's the perspective. So anything could be changed in a perspective. So if you ask from God's perspective, and you, God used to walk into the room and say, shalom, peace yeah. be upon you. Yeah. So I believe you could enter peace. I believe that you could only find peace when you welcome God into your life. Now, it might sound like a crazy nutcase that's a religious man. Yeah. But I truly believe in all of my heart that money will never give you peace. Yep. I believe love will give you peace. Love comes from God and the people that are around you. Your mother gives you peace. Yep. Your father gives you peace. Yep. You can't buy that. Yep. And if you ask God for five things, only five things, Andrew, your Bugatti wouldn't be there. Absolutely. But your brother would. Of course. So you come into the world with peace yep. and love. So but you don't argument. think pride is one of the biggest motivators of masculine excellence? You don't think no, that- No, because once you achieve it, you want more, and that's yeah, where it gets Of course, dangerous. but you do not think Mayweather decided he wanted to be proud of himself by beating Why everyone? Why would you, you want don't to think be Mayweather? Okay, so Michael, Michael money Angelo. and then just pick on YouTubers and box them? Of course. Michael, my, I, I'm, not, I, I'm not insulting Mayweather, or good or bad, but- let's well, Actually, say, I might cut that because it might jump me, so- <laughs> Michelangelo. Okay. He cut his ear off. Okay. Artists, Da Vinci. <laughs> what I'm saying is some of the most beautiful works of art, some of the most gorgeous cathedrals, some of the most beautiful churches you'll ever lay your eyes on were done because a man felt proud of his work. Feeling pride, pride in but yourself. But what happened to that man? Being of course, but being pride, pride. So you're, you're looking at the art and you're trying, that's pride. You want everybody to take pride into you. But guess what, Andrew? Right now, if you died, regardless of all the work you've done, yep. regardless of all of everything that you put in, I'm a better man. Reed's a better man. Da Vinci's a better man. Yep. I forgot your name. I'm so sorry. Bailey. Bailey's a better man. All these guys are a better man for two, three generations. But when yeah. you die, you have the same grave of a man that you hate because time moves on. Of course. Everything collects moth yeah. and rust. Yeah. So what's the point? You don't think God can give you pride in yourself for doing the right things? I think that you could find joy in it. But again, everything has its time. So you take pride in your art. But at one point, all those artists became crazy, bro. So what's the fucking worth of okay, it? Okay, I understand that. So we can look at it a different, bunch of different ways, but you just talked about a man looking in the mirror and being proud of his body to motivate himself. That's pride. Absolutely, pride to an extent, right? Pride to an extent. But if it's your motivator, that's the problem. It, Everybody needs a from. certain type of emotion. You need yeah. fear, but you're not gonna live fear but throughout course, your whole life. Of course, but we life. have our default emotions that we seek, and this is the point I'm making, because when I talk to people, I think we all have our default emotions we seek, and depressed people, their default emotion that they're looking for is sympathy. They want sympathy, either from themselves or from somebody else, and they always have a sob story. It's always about how hard their life was, and they did drugs, and blah, 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 and they want everyone to feel sorry for them. They're searching for sympathy. If you're the kind of person who searches for happiness, whether male or female, in my experience, people who search for happiness end up doing hedonistic, temporary, stupid things. When I find men who search to feel proud of themselves, I want people to be proud of me and I want to be proud of myself and I want to be respected. Mm -hmm. They often delay happiness. They often go through very difficult things and build things which are beautiful or build things which are difficult to do. They often go to the other side of fear to feel that pride. I did it. I faced my fear. I did it. Yeah. So I think as a man searching for pride or searching to feel proud, is a pretty positive mindset for masculine achievement. I understand what you're saying from the biblical sense. I actually understand what you're saying. Yeah. But I just say if you were to take a man and say, how would you make your parents, your girlfriend, and yourself proud uh, of you? I agree. I, I, I just don't want it to be the driving decisions. vehicle. And that's the only thing I care about. I just don't want it to be the driving vehicle. Right? And then I have to sit here and analyze myself. Is pride the driving vehicle for me? Like, why do I even- 100% Why is. do I even <laughs> do what I do? Like, do I feel proud of myself when I 
awaken people to how the matrix works? Well, yes. But is that because I believe I'm helping them or do I just feel happy in and of myself? Why do I own all the things I own? Why do I want all the things I want? And it's very interesting you asked a question earlier before we got down this point when you said, has money made me happier or made me more anxious? And the answer to that is, is both. I think that you're certainly anxious when you have an empire because you're, you understand how difficult it is to maintain, mm -hmm. especially in my position, right? I've been hit by DCOT and FBI and all these huge federal agencies are trying to take everything I've ever worked for. It's, and from it's, your loved ones that you're leaving. And from my loved ones, yeah. all the money I've ever made. It's, it's actually a very difficult, precarious situation to be in. And even if you ever get to the position where you pay yourself half a million dollars every single morning, you get concerned with, am I still gonna be allowed, am I still gonna be able to do this? Then the money ain't making you happy. You're working so hard to make sure you'll always be able to pay yourself that money that you don't even spend, that you don't even need. That's the pride thing so, I was trying to tell of course, you about. Of course, of course. So you're, but, the, but you're this is how you hold it, on and, to and it's, and it's a stomach that keeps needing. It does keep needing. You're completely right. But that's also how there's no light without dark. The stomach keeps needing. Completely agree with you. But that's also how I managed to propel myself from here to here. And I'm going to go want to beat this garbage even high. So I agree it's with your you. Gas. There's no, there's no, there's, it's my gas. Yeah. My gas is. And then, so there's anxiety. Did attack. that change when you got a daughter? I think in some ways it got worse because there's anxiety attached to my money. But the true happiness that I get from my money is the fact that I can give people I care about anything I want. You could set them free. I can set them free. Yeah. So I said this even to a girl I was dating. I said, you're happy all the time. And I love that because I'm stressed. I don't get any of that happiness you get from life. You wake up and you do your nails and you shop for Prada and you get to look gorgeous and you smile all day and you get to make a cute cupcake and you bring me the cupcake and you laugh ha 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 cupcake i'm concerned with real important things dcar trying to put me in jail M millions of dollars have gone missing <laughs> like i'm dealing with real stuff you're dealing with cupcakes <laughs> but i am happy that i go through all of this so i can make you happy yeah so my money makes You're me provider. happy yeah i'm a provider my money makes me happy because every single person i love lives a fantastic life can i ask and you if question? i have to suffer if i have to suffer so 50 people can live content i believe that a man should do that Hmm. Yeah, I, I really don't think this was really a debate though. They both understood the jail soap. Like they understood that I get where I'm coming from, you get where I'm coming from, but I'm trying to like push in this little idea. But I feel a man should be I don't feel pride should be the right word. I feel a man should have respect for a decision because if you like if you can honor each decision you make, like it makes sense in the sight of God and human. Like, you know, if I'm making this decision, like you say I'm going to go to college, like you understand, like it makes sense. You want to go to make your family proud, make yourself proud, but like I don't feel if you search for happiness, you said yes, because some days you won't be happy. I feel you should work with discipline and work with God. Like I love the fact. I love what George was saying, like, you, you need God in life. It is, he is trying to pitch in the religious aspect, but if for being honest, like, you find happiness with him. Like, your life will change tremendously. Okay, tell me what you think about this video. Just like, share, subscribe to my channel. I'll see you next time, guys. Peace.